The member for Capricornia. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Defence Industry, representing the Minister for Employment. Will the Minister outline to the House why it is important that leaders of unions and employer organisations act in a way that promotes integrity and respect? Is the Minister aware of reports about intimidation, threats or harassment of Australian workers and their families by members of registered organisations? The Minister for Defence Industry representing the Minister for Employment. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And I thank the member for Capricornia for her question. Mr Speaker, in the last fortnight we've seen some of the worst examples of bad CFMEU behaviour that we've seen in a very long time. In fact, it's probably more than we've ever experienced before at Oakey North, at the Glencore uh, uh, pre uh, uh, picket at uh, Oakey North in her electorate. The threats being shouted by the CFMEU at the Glencore workers are quite frankly beyond the pale, Mr Speaker. They would shock uh, most members of this House, calling out to employees legitimately going to work that they wish that they would have head-on collisions on their way home from work, but even worse than that, Mr Speaker, saying that these workers, uh, the CFMEU workers would rape the children of the workers at Oakey North at the Glencore precinct there. Now, Mr Speaker, I know that the, the Labor Party is prepared to put up with most stuff from the CFMEU. They're prepared to, pol to tolerate almost anything. But there are many people in this House Mr. Speaker, with children and probably with grandchildren. And how could anybody in this House imagine a threat being made to them going into their workplace that anyone would rape any one of our children by a, a union official because we were going about our business? Now, I would ask the Labor members to simply take pause for a moment and imagine how horrific that is for the father or mother of any child. These are real threats. I've seen the videos, I've seen the Facebook posts. The member for Bendigo continues to defend for the CFMEU in this place. Member for when Morton. is enough going to be enough for the Leader of the Opposition, Mr Speaker, to stand up to the CFMEU? We know that he's taken $8 million in donations from the CFMEU since he was the Leader of the Labor Party. It's time for the Labor Party to say no to any more donations from the CFMEU. It's time to get the CFMEU off the national conference, the state conference, the pre-selection processes, the policy fora of the Labor Party, Mr Speaker. Bob Hawke had the backbone to stand up to the BLF. It's time this leader of the Labor Party had the backbone to stand up to the CFMEU, Mr Speaker, because it goes to a question of if this Leader of the Opposition is not prepared to stand up to the CFMEU, despite all their heinous crimes, how will he stand up for Australia's national interests on the overseas uh, 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 stage? How will he stand up for Australia's national interests in Australia and beyond if he's not even prepared to say enough is enough to the CFMEU? Yeah.